<laughs> These movies take us too long. Exactly. <laughs> but then it's always fun okay. to see people again. Yeah, it's good to see you. Uh, similar. Okay, okay. sorry. Yeah. Uh, um, amazing. It's thank one you. of the best best movies I've seen in a long while. From, oh, from, thank you. You, 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 you solved the thing with the bad guy. It's the <laughs> first first thing uh, I noticed that the last three films there were always some trouble with the bad guy, oh, yeah. and this time uh, uh, there's a fantastic bad guy. Oh, good. Thank, thank you. That's um, good. We love the bad guys. That's good. I know. Uh, we both yeah. we love creating villains, antagonists. Yeah. Um, and this is a, the better the bad guy, the better the movie. I think. Yeah. I, I, you, you can the understand her, him, don't spoil her, uh, anything yeah. uh, um, very, very well. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's a mystery because we do, you know, it's got a lot of twists and turns and a lot of layers that the audience has to figure out. And I think people really like that. I don't think they've seen yeah. an animated mystery. Our head of story said, this is probably going to be a lot of children's introduction to the genre of mystery. mysteries and detective stories. Yeah. Uh, and we love noir films. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and I think the better you can relate to your bad guy's theories of, of why the bad guy thinks that they're right, mm -hmm. the better the story. Mm -hmm. um, th those are the movies I like, mm -hmm. when, when I can kind of see a little bit of like, man, I, I understand not just how the protagonist feels, but, mm -hmm. but the uh, antagonist point of view. Yeah, you have to believe in that. Yeah. For me, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, Nick and Nora Charles. Yes. Oh, yeah. From the, from the third There's a yeah. lot and of I Nick think and Nick Nora is in them. right out of the movie yeah. Thin Man. Yeah, yeah. I, I love that dynamic of mm -hmm. uh, Nick and Nora Charles. And um, there's just something, and we've seen it, like, there was a TV show that both Byron and I liked uh, in the 80s when we were younger called Moonlighting. Oh, it was yes, Bruce Willis, yeah. Bruce Willis, and Sybil Shepard. Yeah. And that was kind of my introduction into that genre yeah. as a young person, yeah. that I kind of discovered the Thin Man series through Moonlighting. Yeah. And I, I love that kind of, you know, are they, are they romantic? Are yeah. they, you know, where we're solving the crime is kind of how they're romancing one mm -hmm. another, you know. I, I love that I'm getting tingles because no, it's I great love that. Yeah, because we have so yeah. many plot lines. There's so yeah. much plot going on in Zoomania. It is. Yeah. Uh, it's very nice, uh, It's right? unbelievable. Mm -hmm. uh, I kind of understand that you work so long on the movie, but, yeah. but it's so the balance of the movie is so precise, so, so fantastic. Oh, okay. uh, Thank it, you. it leaves you very satisfied when oh, you leave you. the cinema. Oh, good. That's so, great. Uh, that's that's but, a mark of a good movie, I think, mm -hmm. when, when you kind of come out thinking, mm -hmm. I can't imagine anymore. You know, mm -hmm. and not asking questions, well, why did this happen or that? Mm -hmm. I, I like coming out of a movie feeling a, like I've been given everything, you know, I need to know. It's been delivered, right? Yeah. But why, it, why does it take always so long? It does take a long time. Well, I know, I think we're, because we're very hard on the movies. And we have the luxury, yeah. I think, because of who we work for. We work for John Lasseter. And, and the way uh, John has taught us to make movies, I think these movies need time to evolve. This movie started as a spy movie. I pitched it five years ago as an all-animal spy movie, and it's evolved into what it is now, which is this great detective movie mm -hmm. comedy in this all-animal city. And it's so detailed and so layered that I don't think I could have possibly imagined what it would be back then. But the fact that we all work together as a team yeah. to create these amazingly rich uh, stories with compelling characters in these incredible worlds. It's, it's a great job. Yeah. I, I think the, the poetic, artistic answer to that question is, is the, because the, the piece knows how it has a growth cycle like anything else. You know, like, why does it take an oak tree that long to grow from an acorn to an oak? Mm -hmm. You know, it just, it just kind of naturally has that uh, cycle built into it and and sometimes we can't rush it mm -hmm. you know it just it takes that long because it takes us that much time to to catch up to to where the mm -hmm. the story is going organically mm -hmm. so the studio the disney studio now is a creative uh, um, field where you can develop such and, great stories. and we are our leadership is filmmakers they are not they are not executives or or uh, financial people or you know they they are people who John Lasseter has made many films, you know, and he understands this process better than anyone on the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. uh, so to be able to to create in that environment is a filmmaker's dream yeah. come true. It's uh, uh, amazing, but 
this, I, I can't imagine what you will do next, but is there anything you can tell us? Because I would love to have a so many, a two, three, four, but it's, on the other hand, I would love to see new more, material. Right. Yeah. Well, it's, what's nice about the studio, too, is that we're not just limited to making one kind of movie. Like Wreck-It Ralph is very different from Big Hero 6, which is very different from Zoomania, which is different from Frozen. And the fact that all of these movies are coming out so well is great. It's, I think it's great for us as filmmakers because mm -hmm. then we feel the world is your, our oyster. We can go out and choose any subject that really moves us, as long as we're passionate about mm -hmm. it. I think that's what uh, we're asked to do as filmmakers, just bring passion, bring uh, thoughtfulness, bring honesty, own honesty and yeah. sense of emotion to these things. And that's where it's great, because they are, it's a long haul on the movie. So the, if you can sustain yourself for three or four or five years on one idea and really commit to it and team up with these amazing filmmakers we all work with, as a team, then that's a huge reward, and it's been it's it is a very healthy place to work right now. Last question: sure. um, Any advice for an aspiring German animation student? Mm. What to do? Uh, I would say uh, just stay connected to that passion that that uh, inspired you in the beginning, mm -hmm. because along the way, you're going to meet people that that say, well. Can you really do this? Will you really survive uh, as an artist? Mm -hmm. uh, is are you being a little impractical, thinking mm -hmm. that you can become an animator? And the answer is, you can do it. It's mm -hmm. achievable. Uh, Byron and I started exactly like you did mm -hmm. uh, in the beginning. No one is born into the position that we are. Uh, it's all achievable, but you need to stay connected to the passion that that got you. Uh, that kicked you off in the first place. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. Don't give up. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, it's great. Thank you.